In this video we're going to look at starting and stopping a test from the ELE Logger software. So our ELE Logger is connected to an ADR Touch Control Pro machine, a 2000 kN machine, which has previously been used for testing 150mm cubes at 16kN per second pace rate. In order to start the test, we simply select the start button, which is the green button at the bottom of the screen. Everything that's happening with the machine will be shown as an output on this screen. This is in real time. At the bottom right here you can see that we have a replication of the pace bar from the display of the machine. So we can see that the pace rate is actually uh, conforming to the requirements of the particular test standard that we're using. Now as I said this is a live output so this can be seen in real time from any connection where uh, a PC has been linked in via the IP address. I have in here a, a dummy piece of material so this isn't going to fail, this is for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select stop to stop the test. And we can see that we now have the previous test displayed on the screen for us to peruse at our leisure. We come up to the test results tab at the top here and click on that. We'll be able to see in the machine all the tests that are actually stored within the memory of this machine. We highlight this here and we'll find that all of the test folders are stored in date order. We open up the date that we've just been working on and in here we'll find that the test results are stored with date and time. If we double click on here we'll see the trace from the uh, from the screen and also underneath in these two boxes here the actual test data from the end of test which is output on the report and all of the data which has been taken from within the test. This data is in .csv format so comma separated variable and can be used directly with Microsoft Excel.